This is Martin and welcome to today's Energizing Vinyasa Flow. As always, come into today's practice with a beginner's mind. Come into it with no expectations, really taking the movement and the breath as a gift. Learning to appreciate every moment with gratitude. Feel free to take an asana, a level above or below, and really listen to your body. Do what feels right, and if anything feels funky, just back right out of it. Taking a comfortable, seated, cross-legged position on our mat, bringing our index and thumb finger to kiss, and then placing our palms face up on our knees. Just taking a moment, first releasing any thoughts, releasing any thoughts of what might be going on later today, and really bringing our mind right here into the present moment. Starting up our ujjayi breath, that slight constriction in the back of the throat causing that beautiful audible inhale and exhale. Breathing deep, crown of the head sitting nice and tall, shoulders out to the side, really rooting down through those sit bones, trying to find a nice balance between our body. Bringing our palms to kiss, holding them at heart center, setting an intention, a dedication for today's practice. That really helps root, it helps anchor our practice. And when the mind wanders, bring it back to this intention, bring it back to the breath. Big inhale through the nose, and then exhale that intention out the mouth, releasing it out into the universe. With an inhale, arms reach up to the sky, palms clasp, reaching them up, extending out through the shoulders, out through the triceps, really trying to root down through our sit bones, lengthening our palms up to the sky. Palms coming behind the head, resting the head like a pillow, elbows out to the side, really opening the heart, rolling the shoulders back. Taking a big inhale, exhale, begin shifting our weight over to the right side. Halfway down, releasing the bottom palm, top arm reaching up and over. Really trying to lengthen out through those fingertips, extending out through the triceps, but keeping both our sit bones firmly rooted down towards the earth. Breathing deep here, nice long inhales, nice long exhales. Coming our way back up through center, opening the heart, big breath in, exhale over to the opposite side. Bottom palm drops, top arm reaches. Lengthening out through those fingertips, really feeling those ribs expand with those inhales. Stretching out, feeling the length in our body. Taking one big breath in. Exhale, making our way to center. Palms now coming behind our hips, fingertips face forward. With an inhale, lifting the heart, rolling the shoulders back, lifting the hips. Breathing deep, extending down through the earth, opening the heart towards the sky, breathing all the way down into the center of our body. One big inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering the hips back down. Now we walk our palms forward, extending out, reaching through our fingertips, hip bones really rooting down towards the earth. Trying to find a nice grounding sensation with whatever touches the earth here. Lengthening through our arms, nice long breaths. Slowly walking the torso, nice upright position. And now switching the rotation in our feet. Palms coming behind the hips, fingertips face forward. Inhale, lifting the heart, rolling the shoulders back. Gazing towards the sky, relaxing the neck. If it feels all right, if not, a nice neutral spine is okay. Reaching out through those hips, big inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering it back down. And then palm by palm, we walk the torso forward. Lengthening out through the fingertips, reaching as far as we can. Crown of the head reaches forward, then as close as we can get it down to the earth. Again, taking every breath, every movement with gratitude. We don't have to get all the way down today. Breathing into our hips. Palm by palm, walking that torso up. Gently rolling over the knees, coming to a nice neutral tabletop position. Palms underneath the shoulders, fingers wide, knees underneath the hips. With an inhale, lifting the heart, lifting the hips, shoulders roll back. Exhale, rounding that spine, pushing the earth away. 
Inhale, belly drops, gaze lift, heart rolls open. Then exhale, rolling that spine, pushing the earth away, gazing towards our navel. Inhale, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale, rounding that spine, pushing the earth away, gazing to the navel. Inhale, belly drops, heart lifts. Now tucking our toes, lifting our hips up and back, coming into our first downward dog of today. Since it is our first downward dog of today, let's bring some movement here. Wagging the hips from side to side, maybe pedaling out the feet, palms right in line with the shoulders, fingers spread wide, feet just about hip width distance apart. Hips lifting up and back as we extend through those fingers. Bending our knees, gazing to our hands, gently walking behind the palms with an inhale, halfway lift, nice straight spine, fingertips to the earth, maybe the shins, and then exhale, forward fold. Rooting through the feet, inhale, rising vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up. Then once we get to the top, arms reach up overhead, palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart, sammastitihi. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, palms kissing overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip, uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to the earth or shins. And then exhale, palms plant, stepping back, holding a first high plank here, setting up for our chaturanga. Palms underneath the shoulders, fingertips rooting down into the mat, really rooting down through the balls of our feet, trying to create lightness in our body. With an inhale, shifting forward on our tippy toes, exhale halfway down for Chaturanga. Inhale, arms extend, shoulders stack over the wrist, up dog, thighs lift, exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Holding this dog, three nice long breaths, hips lift up and back, thighs are engaged, really rooting down right through the knuckles, trying to alleviate the pressure on the crease of the wrist. Engaging those thighs, melting that heart a little closer, bending the knees, gazing to the hands, walking our feet right behind the palms, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, rooting through our feet, inhale, rising a little faster now, arms reaching up overhead, the palms kiss. And then exhale, hands coming down to the heart, sammastitihi. Inhale, arms reach up, palms kiss overhead. Exhale, forward fold at the hip, uttanasana, crown of the head forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, palms placing, stepping back, high plank, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart lift, shoulders back. Exhale, over the toes, down dog. Gazing towards our hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Rooting through those feet, inhale, rising all the way up. Palms kissing, back bending at the top. And then exhale, forward folding all the way down. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice straight spine. And then exhale, palms plant, stepping it back halfway down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolls open, shoulders over the wrist, exhale over the toes, down dog. Gazing to our hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, exhale, forward fold. Rooting through those feet, inhale, rising all the way up, energy coming through the fingertips, palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart, sammastitihi. Inhale, ukatasana, chair pose. First, looking down at our toes. Can we see them past our knees? If not, scooting our hips, our shins a little further back. Pinkies wrap forward, biceps are engaged, spine is straight. Really rooting down through those feet, creating length in our spine, reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. Breathing deep here, maybe sitting just a little bit lower. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, palms plant, stepping it back, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolling open. 
Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Spinning our left foot 45 degrees, right foot steps right behind the right hand. And with an inhale, we rise for our Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Front knee stacking right over that ankle. Both hips facing forward. Arms are reaching up, but the shoulders are going down the back. We're really trying to press that pinky all the way in the back down into the earth. One more big inhale. Exhale, palms coming down to the earth, stepping back halfway down Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog heart opens. Exhale over the toes, down dog. Right foot spins 45, left foot steps right behind the left hand, inhale rising up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Both hips facing forward, arms reaching up, shoulders down the back. Back leg is long and strong, front knee is stacked over the ankle. Breathing deep, nice straight spine here, strong stance as we root into the earth. Taking one nice big inhale here. Exhale, palms coming down to the earth, stepping back halfway down Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolling open. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to our hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana chair pose. Rooting through those feet, finding that grounding sensation, those palms facing each other, shoulders down the back. Thighs are strong and engaged. Big breath in. Exhale, come to stand, Samastitihi. Inhale, Ukatasana chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, hands plant, stepping it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolls open. Exhale, over the toes, down dog. Right foot stepping right behind the right hand. Single breath in, rising up, Virabhadrasana one. And then exhale, riding that breath down. Chaturanga, lengthening the breath to the bottom of that Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart opens. Exhale, rolling over the toes, down dog. Left foot steps right behind the left hand. Inhale, rising up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Exhale, single exhale down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolling open, thighs lift. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to our hands, step, jump, float our way to the front, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana chair pose. And exhale, come to stand, Samastitihi. Inhale, Ukatasana chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice straight spine. Exhale, hands plant, stepping it back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolls open. Exhale, over the toes, down dog. With an inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot right in between the hands, back knee comes down, arms come up, modified crescent lunge, Anjaliasana. Front knee over the ankle, maybe those hips sinking a little forward and down. Clasping the hands, point your fingers towards the sky, Kali Mudra, and then lifting the heart up and back, reaching, gazing towards the hands. Engaging that left glute muscle, big inhale. Exhale, coming forward, framing the front foot. Back toes tuck, knee lifts off the earth. Left hand to the inside of the front foot, right arm reaches up to the sky. Reaching that crown of the head forward, left foot extending back, nice line of energy from the heel out the crown of the head. Exhale, palms coming down, framing that foot, stepping it back, high plank, halfway down, Chaturanga, inhale up, dog, heart opens, exhale over the toes, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot right in between the hands. Back knee comes down, arms come up, modified Anjaliasana crescent lunge. Front knee is right over that ankle, really sinking those hips forward and down. And then we clasp the hands, pointer fingers towards the sky, Kali Mudra lifting up and back, lengthening through the spine, opening the heart to the sky. Breathing deep here. One more, big inhale. 
Exhale, coming forward, framing the front foot. Back toes tuck, knee lifts off the earth. Right hand to the inside of the front foot, left arm reaches towards the sky. Pressing that right heel back, really gazing up towards that hand unless it hurts the neck. One more, inhale. Exhale, palms coming down, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, heart rolls open. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing forward. This time walking ourselves to a nice seated position. Coming into Navasana, boat pose. Lifting the shins off the earth, nice and parallel to the ground, palms facing up, right in line with those shins, heart open, spine is straight. We can stay here, maybe a little extra spice, we lengthen the legs. Nice long breaths here, really using our lower abdominals, lifting those legs. Breathing deep, exhale slowly lowering down, resting on our mat. Setting up for bridge pose, soles of the feet right in line with the hips, bringing the heels almost towards the bum. As we root down through the soles of our feet, lifting the hips, maybe we roll one shoulder at a time, clasping the hands, and then extending the hips and the heart up towards the sky. Gently internally rotating the thighs, almost as if there's an invisible block right in between those thighs. Breathing deep, one more. Big inhale, lift it just a little bit higher. And then exhale, releasing the clasp in our hands, rolling it down vertebrae by vertebrae. Soles of the feet kiss, knees out to the side, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, Supta Baddha Konasana here. Really watching that breath as it fills our body, expanding the stomach all the way out. And with every exhale, really letting it go from the pit of the stomach. Knees gently closing like a book. Wrapping our arms around the shins, creating a little ball here. Keeping our right knee hugged up into the heart, extending that left leg out, resting it on the mat. Inhale, right knee lifts up towards the heart. Exhale, right knee over to the left side. Arms at a T, gazing over towards the right. Supine twist, shoulders rooting, more important than having that knee over to the side. With every inhale, still feeling that vertebrae lengthening. With every exhale, surrendering down, a little bit deeper in towards the mat. Knees coming back up to heart center, wrapping our arms around the shins, maybe the forehead kissing the knees. Left knee now hugging into the heart, extending that right leg, resting it on the mat. Inhale, left knee a little higher. Exhale, left knee over to the right, arms at a T, gazing over to the left. Our practice today really opened up these energy channels we call our nadi channels inside. And now we can watch as that prana, that energy starts in our heart extends up through the crown of the head, radiating out through the body. Knees gently coming back up to heart center, wrapping the arms around, creating this little ball here. Big inhale, filling the lungs, and at the very top we hold for three, for two, for one, and release. Legs extending out to the front, Arms coming down by our side, palms facing up. Coming into our last, but our most important asana for today. Releasing now any control we've had over our breath. Releasing any control we've had over our body. Starting to really watch. Watch as our ankles, our knees, our thighs, Slowly begin to get a little bit heavier. Our hips, our shoulders begin sinking deeper down, down into the mat. Relaxing the muscles in your eyes, in your mouth, in your face. Really making this time and this moment all about you. Shavasana.
taking a little deeper inhales now, breathing life back into our body, gently wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, reaching the arms up and overhead for a nice morning stretch, lengthening out through the fingertips, out through the toes, really lifting the knees up towards heart center, rolling over to the right side, cradling the head. Coming to a moment here, a moment of gratitude. First, thanking yourself today. Thanking yourself for doing something good for your body. Thanking yourself for doing something good for your mind. Then thinking about two things today. Two things that you are just truly grateful for. Slowly making our way back up, keeping the eyes closed to a nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Connecting our thumb and index finger, this time placing our palms face down on our knees. This really roots our energy down through the base, connecting us with the earth. Let's take one cycle of breath here. And bringing the palms to kiss. Anjali Mudra, holding them at heart center. I'd like to leave you guys with a little quote today. A quote from Lao Tzu. When we are depressed, we are living in the past. When we are anxious, we are living in the future. But when we are at peace, we are truly living in the present. It's been an honor and pleasure sharing my practice with you today. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. I thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for weekly videos teaching you to live a happier and healthier life. And remember, there's no better moment than the present.